putting this together so that she can have like a kick-ass picture because I don't think there's enough kick-ass pictures of girls. So um, I want to fix this here because it's bugging the crap out of me. I don't want to lighten it, which I would need to do because it is light. Um, so I'm going to do a new layer here. And I am going to... I think I'm going to use a stamp to start with. Um, and I need to make sure that I am sampling current layer and below. Yeah, Cassie. I know. It's surprising. But that's what you need to do. Um, I'm going to grab this section here and do that. And then select this again. And oops. No, 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 no. No cats on me right now. You're very sweet. Go away. <laughs> I love my cats, but they always want to be pet with my right hand, which is hard when I'm working. Uh, goodbye, Windows. Oh, goodness gracious. Come on. All right. Alt. Right here. Alt. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. So that is not too bad for <sighs> pulling things up. I'm so sorry. I keep hitting the Windows tool. Oh, and I don't want that like that. I want that like that. Um, a alt here. All right, so that is nice and darkened down now. I'm just going to show you before and after if I can figure out where it is. There it is. So that was driving me nuts. Now it sort of blends in and seems like it's part of it. I'm going to this exposure level. I'm going to get myself a nice big uh brush here and um, hmm. <laughs> I'm actually going to switch this for a second and I'm going to take this down and uh, I'm going to do it with a gray alright you know what I'm going to start it this way that's how I'm going to start it so this was to darken down my layers and I had the light bulbs that I had made light and then I realized I want to make a bright spot behind her. So let me see, do I have this right? Let's see. I always forget which way you need to be coming in. And I also don't think I want it all the way white. So I'm going to take it to gray and go like that. black okay it is this it's this way no it's doing the same thing <sighs> there we go just want a little bit of lightness so I got that uh, and now I'm going to change it to black and white and I'm going to go back to my brush I'm going to make my brush smaller and I'm going to oops Uh, I'm going to switch the colors. I'm painting white and bring these lights back. Uh -huh. There we go. Because lights shine no matter what. Even if you want it darker, the lights should shine. And since this layer is below Bella, I can go over top of her and not worry about it. Okay. That looks better. 
Um, all right, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to do a nice big brush and I'm going to just sort of, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's idiotic cat. Don't do that. Uh, new layer. Okay, my new layer should have been below Bella. <laughs> and there we go. So I'm going to add noise. And I'm going to soft light. Let's see. Do you want soft light? Yeah, there we go. So just a little bit of glow around her. I'll actually label that glow or yeah, inside the sun. That's the, the name of it. Glow. Cool. Uh, I am going to copy this. I'm going to Gaussian blur this just a little bit. And I'm going to soft light. Cool. All right. Cool. I'm liking what that did. It's a little too much, so I'm going to pull down the opacity. Don't get fooled into thinking you need to do everything at 100%. Uh, and I'm turning it off and on again. See, yes. So I need to bring um, her eyes back. So, oops, wrong. Uh, and now I don't know what I've done. Um, so I'm going to, um, sorry, I am going to do a levels layer on her and I am going to come in and I'm only paying attention to her eyes. Uh, Pull this in. I'm only paying attention to exactly her eyes right there. That is what I want. All right. So coming in here, I'm, uh, I'm selecting all. I'm filling it with black. And now I have this giant brush that I'm going to bring down in size. And I'm going to paint white into her eyes and bring back her eyes. Now if this is too much, which it may be, I can just bring down the opacity, but I don't think that's too much. I think that looks pretty good. Um, I am liking that. Uh, I think she's not quite, I'm going to add a, uh, photo filter. There it is. I'm sorry. I'm looking straight at it. On her, uh, I'm going to try a cooling filter. Oh, I need to just clip it to Bella. Um, and I'm going to bring it down to here. Still just clip it to Bella. <coughs> Excuse me very much. Um, and 
let's bring the density of that down. Uh, I think I'm going to look at, I think the back is a little too cold. Let's bring that down. Actually, let's try to turn that off. Actually, that works a little bit better. They match a little bit better now. I'm looking at the color temperature of her against that background. And let's see. Yeah, I think that works the whole thing. Um, I'm going to now go on top of it all and add a curves adjustment. Uh, let's just take it a little. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. She's right there. She looks a little bit more like an ice queen. And then I'm going to do another curves adjustment. And I'm going to, come on, darken down the whole thing. Come here, grab a brush, nice big brush, and uh, let's build that opacity up. Oh, and actually not paint white on white. And a little bit more. I'm actually just going to paint black around the corners. And multiply. Actually, I want to crop in a little bit more because I don't need that light and this little thing there. But other than that, I think it's right. Because I'm not doing this for any specific printing size or anything, I don't need to worry about, oh, what's the aspect ratio? Um, but I actually am wondering, what if I bring this down a little bit? Yeah, that's a little bit stronger of a crop. And I'm liking that. All right. Well, I think, uh, how, do I, uh, how do you know you have the right background that will match the foreground? I did not shoot them at the same time. I didn't even shoot this back ground image. It is a um, one I found actually I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna um, take out some of these highlights because they're this one in particular is bothering me because it's so rippled. Um, but yeah I didn't um, shoot the background. I simply went online. I did a search uh, for um, non-rights images. Uh, so Creative Commons images that are, are um, okay to modify uh, and share. Uh, I wouldn't sell this image, um, like I wouldn't print this and sell it or sell it to for a cover or something like that because I don't own that background. I'd shoot my own if somebody wanted, um, wanted that. But um, I knew that I was going to have her standing in front of a uh, an air you know an area I knew I wasn't going to have to have include her feet and anything so I wasn't too worried about um, aspect ratio or not aspect ratio um, distortion because it was somebody who was standing on the ice shooting and she's standing on the ice so that kind of worked and I wanted it to be fairly empty and not too 